Thursday, May 4th. The Washington Nationals beat the Chicago Cubs 4-3 at home, taking three games of four in the series. Neither starter received a decision. For the Cubs, Jamison Dio went three innings, allowed three runs, and struck out four. The Nationals, Patrick Corbin had his best start of the season, going seven innings, allowing two runs, and striking out six. Kyle Finnegan was credited with the win, and Brad Boxberger took the loss. Things were looking good for the Nationals after a three-run second inning, but the Cubs tied it in the top of the eighth. Going into the bottom of the ninth, Alex Cole was set to lead off the inning. The Cubs bring in Brad Boxberger to shut down the Nationals in the ninth. They'll face the left fielder, Cole, who's over three. Boxberger from the stretch. The pitch. Swung on and driven high and deep to left. And this game is over. Home run for Alex Cole. His third of the year. And the Nationals walk it off. beat the New York Mets 2-0 at home, sweeping the three-game series. Eduardo Rodriguez was excellent in his third win of the year. Rodriguez went eight scoreless innings and struck out nine. Justin Verlander took the loss, going five innings, allowing two earned runs and striking out five. Alex Lang picked up his fifth save. The only two runs of the game came in the first inning for the Tigers, and they came on back-to-back -back home runs from Riley Green and Javier Baez. Here's the clip from Green's game winner. evened up at one. Green currently with a seven game hit streak. Verlander winds and delivers. That ball is hit high and deep to right. Marte looking up. Gone. Home run number three for Riley Green. And he puts the Tigers up on the board 1-0 here in the first. The Tampa Bay Rays beat the Pittsburgh Pirates 3-2 at home, sweeping the three-game series. Zach Eflin got the win in an excellent outing. Eflin wins seven scoreless innings and struck out 10. Vince Velasquez took the loss, going three innings, allowing one earned run, and striking out two. Jason Adam picked up his second save of the season. The Rays held a firm lead for most of the game, and it wasn't until the ninth that the Pirates scored in an attempt to mount a comeback. Luckily for the Rays, they had three home runs, one each by a Rosa Reina, Walls, and this one by Yandy Diaz. One and to Diaz, who 
was one for three with a double. Stevenson said, deals, swung on and driven high and deep to right. That ball is out of here. Yandy Diaz, it is a home run of the year. And the Rays take a 3-0 lead.
and his homer for the White Sox. The score was tied at two after nine innings, and remained that way until a five-run twelfth. That included the game-winning run on this play. One and O oh to Gordon, who's over two today, looking to add on to the Twins' lead. Here comes the pitch, swung on and drilled to center for a hit. Gallo scores from second. Robert stops the ball from getting to the wall and throws it in. It's a double for Nick Gordon. And the Twins now have a two-run lead. The Colorado Rockies beat the Milwaukee Brewers 9-6 to at home, sweeping the three-game series, and are now on a four-game win streak. Neither starter recorded a decision. Wade Miley went six innings, allowed three runs, and struck out two for the Brewers. Connor Siebold went five innings, allowed three runs, and struck out one. Brad Hand was given the win, and Peter Streslecki took the loss. Yelich, Taylor, and Telez homered for the Brewers, but the Rockies didn't hit any. The Rockies trailed 4-0 after six innings, but managed to tie the game with a four-run seventh. Harold Castro singled in two in the eighth to give the Rockies their first lead of the game. Then, Elias Diaz came to the plate with the bases loaded. Do and do now for Diaz. Of course, one of those balls came from the automatic call on Miller for not throwing within the pitch clock time frame. Miller is set. Delivers. Diaz, it's a fly ball, well to right. Taylor going back. He stops short of the warning track, turns and makes the catch. Castro scores, and the Rockies lead 7 4. The Seattle Mariners beat the Oakland A's 5 3 in Oakland sweeping the series and giving them a four-game win streak. George Kirby got the win, going seven innings, allowing three earned runs, and striking out two. Drew Rusinski took the loss, going three and two-thirds, allowing five runs, and striking out three. The Mariners found themselves trailing at multiple points, but pushed back and always managed to score after falling behind. Trailing 3-2 to two in the top of the fourth, Taylor Trammell drew a walk to score the dying run. Then, Colton Wong sealed the game. Oh, and one to Wong. Bases loaded and two outs. Rusinski set. The pitch. Ground ball. Back up the middle. Pass the mound and into center field. Base hit. Fernandez scores. Crawford being waved in. The throw home by Ruiz is much too late, and the Mariners take a 5-3 lead. Rusinski threw another slider to Wong over the plate, with a similar location to the first pitch, and Wong drilled it. The Atlanta Braves beat the Miami Marlins. 
Boston Red Sox beat the Toronto Blue Jays 11-5 at home, sweeping the four-game series and extending their winning streak to six. Brian Bayo got the win, going five innings, allowing two earned runs and striking out five. Kevin Gossman struggled and took the loss going three and a third, allowing eight runs and striking out four. The Red Sox got off to an early lead on a Yoshida home run in the first. Then the Red Sox scored five more in the second and never gave up the lead. The scoring in the second concluded on this play with Devers on the plate. Here comes Devers to the plate. He flew out to left in the first. Runners on first and third. Two outs. Runners going on contact. Gosman set. Delivers. Devers hits a sharp line drive to right. It'll sail past Springer. Yoshida scores. Turn around in third. He'll score. Springer gets the ball in. And it's a two RBI double for Devers. And the Red Sox lead 6 0. Thank you for listening to the MLB game winning highlights. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And have a wonderful evening.